Hi, happy assistant. Hello. Uh, please put half a pack of yeast in the hot water Wait. and another one in the cold water. It's hot, it's hot water. And then twirl around until it gets dissolved. Bill? Yeah. He's a very good twirler. It's very well. He's a good twirler. Now, yeast here is a single cell fungi, um, which usually turns sugar into CO2, which is why it, when you bake with it, it makes the bread grow, because that's what yeast do. Uh, if you put it with sugar without any air, it also makes something magical, something many of you like. Alcohol. So all alcohol you ever drank has been made from yeast doing its job. All right. So just need to be sure. So here we have our cold yeast, and here we have our warm yeast. And if I have a stronger hydrogen peroxide, this is more fun. Now, this, if it works, will create bubbles. But to see these bubbles, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put in a little bit of soap. Just a little bit of soap. Should be enough that if there's any bubbles, we'll see them. And then I put in, this is reactive, so I put on gloves, normally, at least glasses here. And then I put in hydrogen peroxide in here, and we'll see what happens. And you can see, this is kind of weak ass hydrogen peroxide, but you can see that this starts to form foam at the top, because now the yeast here is reacting with the hydrogen peroxide. This used to be a little faster, because I only got the weak ass one. But we can see here that foam is starting to form as the enzymes inside the yeast is breaking down a hydrogen peroxide. So let's do the same with the one here. What do you think will happen? This is hot. Do you think it will make the reaction go faster or slower? Faster. Okay, let's see if you're right. If you're right, it'll just explode up because it's warm. Let's see what happens. Hmm, weird. It looks to me like nothing's happening. Here, the yeast is happily, happily hammering away hydrogen peroxide. Nothing happening here. Do any of you have an idea why nothing happens here? Yep. Warm water here is 9 degrees, so it killed off the yeast, thereby showing that it's so warm that we have no reaction. 